think each organization has, has to look at uh, their history and where they come from. And uh, I wouldn't advise people to copy the Handelsbank and business model uh, to 100%. You, you have to, to see what, uh, what business you're in and take into consideration uh, the conditions that your particular company uh, has. But on the other hand, I think there are some basic uh, elements of the business model that could be applied, I think, in, in most organizations. Uh, organizations need to change their management model because the um, business conditions have changed. Um, over the last um, hundred years, most organizations have been trying to operate with high efficiency. And today, they have to operate um, to serve their customers well, to uh, attract and retain the best people and as a result to produce uh, good results for shareholders and if they can sustain that then um, the organization will um, prosper and grow and this requires a different sort of management model and the DNA is the essential idea on which the model is built and the essential idea is that you want to challenge and satisfy your employees uh, that you want to satisfy your customers and as a result your business will grow and the profitability of it will too. We want to make decisions as close to our customers as possible. We, we want our branches or business units to operate independently and thereby emulating the feeling of being uh, for the branch managers to, to run their own business. We believe that that's a very efficient and, and uh, customer friendly way of, of organizing your business. Those that have adopted it are leaders in their industry and it's worth making the change but it's not an easy change. Uh, it is very difficult to change and one of the reasons being that, uh, that the people feel frightened, they feel threatened uh, when, uh, when things are about to change. And for instance in Handelsbanken's case we have a, a very flat management structure. So if you come from an organization where you have many management levels and want to adopt the Handelsbanken model, you have to do away with many management levels and of course there will be people resisting that. If you ask um, Handelsbanken or Toyota or um, any of the other speakers that we've got at this conference, you, uh, that you'll find that many companies have been to them and asked how, they, how to do it and they've shown them how they operate and they've tried to copy it. But what they've essentially done is to change the tools within their own existing management model. They haven't changed the model itself. And that's a difficulty. As Magnus said, um, you get resistance from people, um, everything has to change, that's, that's very hard. <laughs>